throughout the history of jiu-jitsu and grappling, there are dozens of names of great male athletes whose achievements can be compared endlessly and the best can be found. But among women, everything is much easier. In this sport, the unrivaled merits of the formidable Gabby Garcia, who won the ADCC championship four times and got the world championship the same number of times. With such monster credentials on the mat, in 2015 the Brazilian decided to compete under MMA rules for the first time. Because of her weight often exceeding 100 kilograms, Gabby had no choice but go to Japan, the rising promotion, where fights involving huge athletes have always been valued super popular. The first opponent for the Jiu-Jitsu genius was debutant Lady Tapa. Lacking any understanding of striking technique, Garcia flew at her opponent and paid for it. Coming to her senses, Gabby went forward again, and this time she got Tapa several times with ridiculous swings. Blasts of punches alternated with minutes of silence. But at one point, the Brazilian suddenly threw a heavy backfist, an easy finish from the half guard, and there Gabby scored her first win under MMA rules. There was still time before the next big jiu-jitsu tournament, so pretty soon Gabi was back into the rising ring. This time the opponent for the grappling queen was a Russian sambo fighter, Anna Molukova, who promised to deal with Garcia in the interview before the fight. With one of her punches, the Brazilian knocked her opponent down and took a dominant position. Gabi made several different submission attempts from the mound, but Malukova defended herself decently and didn't let her limbs come off. Then the powerful Garcia moved to control an almost harmless ground and pound. In the second round, the situation was exactly the same, but this time Gabi was a little more patient and catching the momentum went for the armbar. For her third paycheck in the Japanese league, Garcia went up against the US representative Destiny Yarbrough with a 1-0 record. By the way, the American was one of the few who didn't consider it in weight to the colorful Brazilian. At the same time, the difference in height between the girls was more than 4 inches. Although the American had a solid advantage in striking, but couldn't use it to the full extent due to the huge difference in size. Gabby, in turn, could simply put her hands forward to control the distance. Closer to the middle of the segment, Yarborough went for a takedown, but immediately lost her position and found herself in a turtle position. And then on her back, where she gave her arm to the Americana lock. In Japan, they like to make fighting events on New Year's Eve, and 2016 was no exception. At the Rising 4 event, Garcia was matched against Japanese wrestler Yumi Kohota with a 5-4 record. At the time of their confrontation, the age difference between the athletes was as much as 18 years, which combined with Gabi's weight advantage made her victory a matter of 2-3 minutes. Trying to show something from her native sport, Hota rather quickly got a knee to her face and then fell into a knockdown from another hard shot at the ropes. Gabi barely delivered ground and pound, and the referee, wanting to save some of Yukimu's health, stopped the match. Her record. After the pro wrestler Grandma's one minute destruction, the organization tried to arrange another similar fight for Garcia against Shinobu Kandori, who had already turned 53. Fortunately, the world didn't see this senseless violence in the ring, and they put out an oversized Russian boxer Oksana Gogloyeva, for whom the fight was her MMA debut. However, it ended unexpectedly quickly. The fight was declared as no contest. In July 2017, Gabi Garcia decided to try her hand at the new kind of sport, Japanese shoot boxing, which uses a variety of striking and throwing techniques, but has no grappling. Her opponent was MMA veteran Megumi Abushira. Her debut didn't go well from the very beginning. The referee gave Garcia a warning after an illegal soccer kick. However, she repeated her feat once more, and the fight was declared as no contest. 
for her sixth professional fight, the queen of jiu-jitsu swapped her native Ryzen for another popular Asian league, Road FC, and Garcia was challenged by a world champion in hand-to-hand -hand combat from Russia. Veronika Futina, who like her predecessor had no experience in MMA. Futina started pretty briskly and did a good job on Gabi with combinations, but her success lasted exactly until the first clinch, in which the much more massive Brazilian had a huge advantage. Soon Garcia also formalized the transfer and started an execution on the ground. Side control, Kimura attempts, full mount, back control. All this the ADCC champion managed to show in just one minute. An exhausted Veronica tried with all her might to survive, but once again gave her back and was strangled by her opponent's steely hands. After half a year off, Gabi decided to enter the incredibly popular Ryzen New Year's event again. Garcia's opponent this time was her own countrywoman, kickboxer Barbara Nepomuceno with a zero record. Barbara, not so small for a girl, looked like a reed against the monstrous Gabi. Nevertheless, the small weight gave Nepomuceno an advantage in speed, which she used well in the beginning. But then she found herself in her opponent's strong arms and was nailed to the floor. Being in the tightest side control, Garcia quickly grabbed Barbara's arm and held the Americana lock.